In this video, we're taking a look at the LQ Audio F960 Pro DSP amplifier. This is a product that should be able to output 650 watt of RMS power with two ohms. And although there is nothing said about the four ohm setup, I'm expecting it to be able to output 400 watts easily. This product has the biggest selling point. The fact that it is able to integrate with an OEM audio system without having to cut any wires, without having to uh, use any filters or without doing any extensive work. It is a product that is shipped with quite an extensive wiring harness. The wiring harness being the one that is able to allow someone that doesn't have too much experience in the electronic world to still be able to install such a thing and still be able to get good results on a standard vehicle. I'm using it for the BMW F10 and this was one of the last things that I needed to do to get good quality sound for my vehicle. Although not as polished and although not with as much support as the more known brands, this type of product would be able to allow us to get a very similar high quality sound to the Harman Kardon or at least that is what I'm expecting on my vehicle. And I'm um, putting my hopes on the fact that by using the DSP, we will be able to optimize the speakers that are already in the vehicle, or uh, we will be able to optimize the upgraded speakers that are now in the vehicle to maximize the quality of the sound. Coming back to our product, LQ Audio, you don't find them on, or they don't have a website, they don't have reviews, they are quite hard to find. Uh, the place where I could find them and the place where uh, their products are sold is on AliExpress. I will link in the description the seller that I got this product from, and it's the same seller that I got my previous speakers, so it's, um, it's a product or there are some products that are already tested and with good results and this is the reason why I trusted to to get the product from them. I've received the amplifier, I received the harness that allows me to connect everything together and also I have ordered from the same seller the subwoofers, the speakers that are usually under the front seats of the BMW F10. What else do we need to know about um, about this product? In uh, the box, you receive minimum support. The owner's manual or this little book is in Chinese and it's, I would say, almost useless. If you contact the seller, they will provide some additional pictures of how you connect the stuff. And if you have a bit of basic electronic knowledge or basic knowledge of your car, those pictures will make quite a lot of sense and allow you to connect all of the stuff. I was curious to see the build quality and uh, I went one level further and I have uh, took apart the amplifier. I removed the casing and I removed as much as possible without having an impact on uh, the build of this amplifier. So now we're gonna move to the computer and see how are the things built and how are the components laid down inside of this amplifier. We have the packing. Should you want higher quality pictures, you will find these ones on my website later. Apparently this is the second generation of this amplifier. When we remove the covers, we are seeing that we have a consistent branding, the LQ Audio on all of the boards. Because I'm by no means an expert in electronics, I started to apply my engineering mindset. I'm an automotive engineer, a mechanically biased engineer. So I started doing all of the research. What I could find is this KNE is a manufacturer of PCBs. These are some of their codes. Uh, this board has had a revision in 2021. The capacitors used are the same type of brand that I've seen on JL Audio. 
And this is where the resemblance with JL Audio stops because if you look at the PCB boards of JL Audio, they're a few levels on top of this. Judging the build quality on the PCB board, we can see some areas where we have people doing the soldering. They're not the best looking soldering joints possible. Components are not 100% straight, although in the electronic world, this might have absolutely no reflection on the quality of the sound. This, or on our left, we have the electronics responsible with the Bluetooth communication. This is the DSP part of the electronics. Those three chips in front of us are analog to digital converters. This is the chip that is in charge with the DSP processing. I found the data sheet for this chip. So if anyone wants to do even more research, they can go and read more about this chip. We continue with the way that uh, the power part, the transistors that are actually doing the amplification will be connected so that they, they are able to dissipate the heat. You can see that the main bit of our case is acting as a heat sink quite well machined. And we see something that is good practice having thermal conductive paste to ensure the contact is the correct one. Here I'm able to see something that was a bit strange and I'm tempted of considering either this rubbery substance, plasticky substance as something to prevent vibration from getting these screws, these bolts undone by having this type of, uh, of set up, they are ensuring the fact that those transistors are still kept in contact with the heat sink. We finished with the amplifier. Let's take a look at the wiring harness as this is usually something that gets neglected. Although it's something quite important, we are having signal being taken from the front part of the car next to the head unit, sent all the way back where we're going to place the amplifier being amplified and after that sent back to the same connector in front and after that goes on the normal wiring harness to our speakers. So the quality of these wires and the way that they are connected and placed is quite important for the quality of the sound. Overall couplers, overall wires used are very compatible and very similar to the OEM wiring that you are usually going to see. Overall, I hope that this video helps. Um, I hope that it gives you some options. It makes you think of different upgrades that you might consider. Should you want to go on exactly the same route, explore those links that I'm going to put in the description. Maybe the same seller is able to, to give something or to have good product for your application. This being said, I hope that this video was useful. If I forgot something, let me know in the comments below. If you want to work with me on a project, get in touch using the details in the description. And hopefully I'm going to see you in the next video.